boom, boom. Xavier, stop jumping around. Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates. You're here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center for lesson number three. We've already gone through lesson number one and lesson number two. Lesson number one was gentle striding. Lesson number two was how to stop. And lesson number three is going to be how to transition or turn forward to backward. Today's video is brought to you by Wicked Skatewear. Wicked Skatewear is located in Huntington Beach, California. You can find them online at Wicked skatewear.com where you can find everything you need for skating talk to strict nine and cat the fine ladies that run the joint over there tell them dirty sent you and they will take very very good care of you if you haven't been on my channel before welcome please subscribe share this video it really helps me if you share this video helps me get more information out to more people and that is the mission of this channel to teach as much roller skating to as many skaters as possible all right so let's get started with the lesson are we ready Class has started. Kicking the stick and grabbing it. So, some of you have asked me what this stick is for. I don't know, I feel empowered by it. No, actually, we end up using this, and this might be helpful before we get into lesson three. For some of you have a propensity to throw your arms around like you're having a sale. You can use a stick just like this, just a little PVC pipe, right? You're going to hold this stick between your thumb and your forefinger. Just let it down like this. Relax. Shoulders straight across, snack area tight. Put the stick like this so that when you skate, you focused on keeping the stick down and holding your chest up, okay? So again, I have the little stick in between my thumb and my four fingers. One thing that I'm not doing it is grasping it. I do not have a death grip on this thing, just holding it lightly. Good thing about this is I can drop it, it's not gonna break, it's no big deal. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight. Drop your hips, feet are in a V position, you're rocking your weight from side to side. Just nice and easy like this. The stick just reminds us to keep our <laughs> posture proper. All right, let's get to it. Let's talk about turning around from forward to backward or what is commonly known as a transition. You can do this either clockwise or counterclockwise, but more importantly, you should be focused right from the beginning on doing it both directions. One direction is automatically going to feel more comfortable for you. It's up to you to figure that out. But generally, if you are a right-handed person, you're going to want to transition counterclockwise. If you're a left-handed person, you're going to want to go clockwise. Either way, the body posture and the technique is exactly the same. You're just gonna switch directions and feet. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this stick. Hold, please. We ready? Rolling. When we're gonna do a transition, I very much want you to use what we've already learned, learned in lesson one and two. So lesson one, we learned how to skate forward. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight, hips down. We are forcing our weight or transferring our body weight to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. We're gonna go left and right, left and right. Lesson two, we learn to drop our body weight, push our feet out a bit and slow down. Now we can bring our feet together, transfer body weight opposite the direction of travel and turn. So, I always feel like it is very important if you're gonna do a move like a transition, which is extremely scary for a lot of skaters, especially if you're new and you're just learning, it is easier to do something if you're already doing something. If you just skate straight ahead and decide, I'm gonna turn, a lot of anxiety builds up between the time that you take off skating forward and then you decide to turn. There's a lot of like build up to it. 
If you're telling yourself, hey, I'm gonna do this and that and this and that and then turn, trust me, it's a lot easier, okay? When we do our transition forward to backward, the very first one I'm going to do is going to be primarily for right-handed people going counterclockwise, all right? Put your feet in a V position, put your arms out, drop your hips, you're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, go left, right, left, right, go up, down. I want you to push it out a little bit to get rid of speed. Bring it together. Put your weight on your right foot, meaning shift your body weight over to the right. I want you then to turn head, shoulder, hip around. Head turns shoulder, shoulder turns hip, hip turns foot. Again, say it with the group. Head turns shoulder, shoulder turns hip, hip turns foot. I do not want you to take your foot and try to turn with your foot first. It's a very common mistake. People are skating, skating, they're up and down, they push it out, get it ready to turn, and then they pick up a foot. If you do that, it is a completely different kind of skill, and it will get you very off balance. If you can't recover from that, you'll never be able to do a proper transition. Head, shoulder, hip, foot. The weight is going to transfer over. When I say transfer over, I literally need the body weight is down and when you transfer your body weight to one foot, you can feel your knee pushing to the outside of your boot. That's when you know your weight's really on there. Okay, so your weight is down. I've transferred my weight primarily over to my right foot. This is when I get brave and I turn my head followed by my shoulder, followed by my hip. Now is the time when this hip needs to come up, baby, just a bit. Bring that hip up. Do you see when I lift my hip, my heel goes boop, just like that. It's not a matter of me picking up my foot. It's a matter of me picking up my hip and then it lifts the pressure off my foot. So many of you out there struggle with this. I know because you tell me you do, and I see it, and it's a lot of, I've got my weight here, and then I pick up my foot. Literally need you to focus on your hips. So it's down, shift, look, turn, lift this hip just a little bit. Heel comes off the ground. Point your heel towards the inside, set it down. Again, lift with the hip, the heel's gonna come up. As soon as that heel comes it, turn it into the other leg. Watch me again. So it's up, down, out, together. Shift my body weight, rotate my upper body, pick up my hips so my heel's off the ground. Turn my heel inward, drop it down, replace. Okay, when I say drop it down or replace, I mean heels up, turn it, drop, put weight on it, lift your toe from your other foot and swing it around. It's a whole lot going on. There's a certain amount of faith that needs to happen in that moment because it's kind of scary, okay? But I'm just gonna need you to go with it, right? Let's take a look at what the feet look like. Feet are in a V position. Drop our hips so our knees are flexible. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Pressure on the left skate ball of the foot. Right skate, left skate, right skate. We're gonna stand up, drop it down, push it out to get rid of speed. We're gonna bring it together. Weight on right foot, transfer body weight by rotating the upper body, lift the hip a little. Turn that heel in and lift the toe. Let's try it again. We're gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Lean left and right and left and right. Bring it up, set it down, push it out, get rid of speed. Bring it together. Shift right. Rotate upper body, lift hip, heel goes up, turn the heel inward down. Pop your toe and you're around. I just made that whole thing rhyme. Do you see how I did that? Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Lean left and right and left and right. Put it up, drop it down, push it out. Get rid of speed, bring it together. Shift your weight to your right, rotate your upper body, lift your hip that lifts your heel. Put your heel to heel, pick up your toe and bring it around. 
all of this cannot happen with a couple of things that are necessary. Number one is a little bit of speed, but not too much. You know how you know you have too much speed when inside there's alarms going off. Alarms that are like, I think I'm going to die. There's a good chance I'm going to fall. Oh my God, I don't want to do this. If these alarms are going off, it's just because you're going too fast. But I can't have you do it at a snail's pace either. This makes it really hard for this all to happen, okay? I need a happy medium. I need you to just get going a little bit. And that's why I like you to count. Counting and skating is so great because the count keeps you on time, gives you a bit of rhythm, makes you look good, and also keeps your mind busy so your mind doesn't start freaking out about how the chance that you might die, fall, whatever, okay? Oh, my lefties. Let me go through it one more time for you because this is really my favorite way to do it, right? Five, six, seven, eight, go left and right and left and right, bring it up, set it down, push it out. Bring it together, lean on your left, look over your right, turn, turn, shake, 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 okay? It's the same, either way. And you gotta know how to go both ways when you transition. I am going to include in the video description all my other videos about transition so you guys can just spend your time at home or at work watching these videos. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to bring you lesson number four where we tackle backward skating. All right, skaters, as always, go practice.